Welcome to Electro Online. Now let's take a look and see how to integrate the tangent of x. The best way to do that is to change the tangent of x into what it's equal to. We can write this as the integral of the sine of x divided by the cosine of x times dx. Now you need to realize that the sine of x is related to the cosine of x in such a way that if you take the integral of the cosine of x, you get the negative sine of x. So it looks like we have the differential here and if we then write it as this, if we say let u equal what's in the denominator, the cosine of x, then we can say that du dx is equal to the negative sine of x, and so du can be written as a negative sine of x times dx, or dx can be written as du divided by the negative sine of x. Now, how do we substitute that back in? Well, let's see, let's see. We can write this as the integral of the cosine of x can be written as u, so in the denominator we write u. In the numerator we have the sine of x times dx, and let's take a look over here. The sine of x times dx times a negative is equal to du. So if we multiply both sides of that by a negative, we get minus du is equal to the sine of x times dx. This can now be replaced by the minus du. So this can now be written as the integral of minus du divided by u. And then we take the negative outside, this can be written as minus 1 times the integral of du over u. And now we can go ahead and integrate this because that's equal to the natural log of u. This is equal to minus 1 times the natural log of u. And then if we replace what u is equal to, we can go back over here and say this is equal to minus 1 times the natural log of the cosine of x, the cosine of x. And now if we use the rules of logarithms and we bring that over here, we can write this as the natural log of the cosine of x raised to the minus 1 which is equal to, I'll come over here now, continue, which is equal to the natural log of 1 over the cosine of, of x. And then finally, 1 over the cosine of x is equal to the secant of x. So this can now be written as the natural log of the secant of x. I dropped the absolute value signs because we know that there's certain limits to the secant of x. We just need to make sure that we know how to integrate that. So it turns out that the tangent of x dx can be written as the natural log of the secant of x. Ooh, but one more thing. We, of course, also have to add a constant of integration, which I neglected to do. So let me plug in plus c plus c plus c and plus c. Can't forget about, uh, we can't forget about the constant of integration. The integral of the tangent of x is equal to the natural log of the secant of x plus a constant of integration. And that's how it's done.